Hey Scorpio, welcome to Soul by Then. Back again with another tarot card reading here for you. I'm so excited to get into your reading here today. So I'm sorry if it sounds just a little bit echoey. Um, I will be getting that fixed very soon here. But if it doesn't sound any echoey at all, then that's cool. Okay, good. I'm so excited to get into your readings because it's been a while. I was moving and I was getting myself situated, aligning myself um, to my new state of being. All right. But I am back and I am so excited to be here and I'm very happy to get into your tarot reading. This is a love tarot reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. I'm going to go ahead and start off with your oracle cards here, Scorpio. Well, Scorpio coming into these next seven days, especially when it comes to their love, relationship, partnership, or just in general, what does Scorpio need to know at this moment in time? I only accept high vibrational energy, balance. I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. So you're being asked, you know, to be balanced, stay balanced, stay neutral, especially and balance out your energies. If you're really busy, go ahead and slow down, take care of yourself, do some self-care. However, you feel like it resonates. Envy, I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. So I feel like maybe someone around you is judging you and is being envious of you okay that can definitely be the case um this doesn't have to be necessarily like bad envy okay people feel envious and as long as like they keep it real with you and you know they're not actually hating it's okay to feel envy sometimes it's a natural feeling so you're surrounded with two cards here so the envy um, as long as you're feeling grateful or for someone or thankful for someone or even just showing the gratitude and and like You know, it just depends how you put the energy off, but I feel like maybe somebody around you could be um, Sending you these vibes is what I'm getting. Okay back of the deck energy is trust I accept that my inner voice will always guide me in the Guide me correctly. Sorry. I was gonna say in the right direction, but that can definitely be it for some of you so what I'm getting with this, it's either you're dealing with a loved one, the tower, that's your energy. <laughs> it didn't car that card didn't come out, it was just at the bottom of the deck. But um, with balance and envy, someone can definitely be feeling this way towards you. It can be anybody close to you, okay, a friend, family member, whatever the case is for you, Scorpio. Take it where it resonates, but... Let's see, you may already be intuitively like picking up on people who are envious of you. Okay, but you you bring you set you seem to bring some type of balance into the connection, okay? And also uh, showing gratitude for what you have at this moment in time instead of feeling envious will also help you out. But that's if it's you feeling the envy. Okay. So let's tap into the tarot cards here, Scorpio. I'm gonna go ahead and split. Okay, so here's the Ace of Wands, a brand new beginning where you have a, something new that you're creating, okay? Maybe this is what's going to um, keep you balanced as well, your creative endeavors, okay? But the Ace of Wands can also be a new passionate beginning with somebody, okay? Somebody around you, somebody who you really love maybe or who you just feel really attracted to. The Ace of Wands, maybe this can be a fire sign. There is an invitation somewhere, okay? New beginning, let's see. So the nine of wands, so a lot of passionate energy in between you and somebody else, but it, it's like, it seems like something when it comes to, when it comes to you feeling envious for somebody, that's what keeps you guarded. Okay. Or you like, you get overprotective when, when you start to feel envious for somebody. Okay. But at the same time, I do want to say that maybe the person that you're dealing with is feeling some type of way. I feel like the person that you're dealing with may be protecting their own energy. Maybe you offered or they offered you, but the energy will resonate. Some, some sort of new passionate beginning, but somebody kind of was on the fence about it. Um, I feel like maybe you and this person have been through some cycles. So at the end of the day, someone here is standing guarded, okay, from their own energy. So, so there's healing that needs to be done in this connection most definitely i feel like you're trying to help out this person or it can be vice versa but someone here is trying to help someone else out like move forward and heal the connection but at the same time it feels like um it's not being done in a very clear way although yeah it's not being done in a very clear way because with the nine of wands and then the 
the Six of Swords. Six of Swords is being in a shaky moment, but headed towards clear, um, peaceful times, right? Um, but since the Nine of Wands is here, this is telling me it's it's almost like not settled, or it's not being settled in the correct way. Um, maybe there isn't even communication, proper communication being done here, but we're going to go ahead and keep pulling cards out for you, Scorpio. So here we get the devil. So someone here is definitely um, has some fears. But see, the thing is, it's it's you guys are still, even though it feels like maybe you guys are moving forward, like things are getting better, it still feels like things are still um, shaky, like the ground isn't stable for some reason. And it's it, it may be coming um, from fear, it may be stemming from toxicity, arguments, fights, okay, lots of fights, but you guys both still want to heal the connection, but it's like maybe at the same time, at the same time, it's almost like things are just not being reciprocated in the proper way, I guess, with the devil card here. So maybe, um, I don't know if it's these next seven days or you guys are already dealing with this energy. I mean, it can be different for all of you, but um, the devil is... It's, it's popped up in your reading only because um, someone here is learning or is starting to acknowledge, okay? There, someone here is starting to acknowledge um, their, basically what's holding them back. Because there is something almost holding you back. It's almost like, it's almost like you're headed towards what, it's almost like you're headed towards seeing the bigger picture, Okay. Some of you may be dealing with a Capricorn, but let's see. I honestly feel like there's lack of communication. Here we get the Three of Cups. So it's like you guys have come back together, you and this person. You're dealing with somebody. Give me a second. Let me adjust my camera just really quick. I'm just going to lower it just a bit. So... It can definitely be that you and this person um, reunited recently or like there was some celebration that just happened. If they are a fire sign, maybe they just had a birthday or you guys just came together, went on a date or something. Um, for others of you, there may be other people involved in your connection. It doesn't have to be the case for everybody. But if you feel like that's the case, I suggest you get a personal reading or you just follow your own intuition with that, okay? Because there can be a lot of people watching this, so a lot of different energies that may be coming up here. So be very selective um, and follow your own intuition, most definitely. But with the Three of Swords and the Ace of Wands, it's almost like maybe somebody here has somebody else already. Okay, and the Devil card, this is like... Anything that can associate that associates with kind of negativity or just toxic traits, of course. For those of you, you have a lot of work. You're very busy, okay? And and you have a sense of needing to balance your energy out by like going, traveling somewhere near water or just spending time with friends and kind of like relaxing a little bit. Okay. So the seven of swords here. So we have the three of cups, seven of swords, the devil. So this can be going out, partying, or sneaking away, or just kind of getting away with communication. Um, I don't, I it can be cheating most definitely since the devil card is here. So for some of you, that's going to be definitely it. Maybe this person is just acting, this person is acting weird, right? They're acting really sneaky. They're acting hella shady. And then you, as the queen of cups, are getting a wake-up call. Okay, you're getting a wake-up call. You need to realize what's going on, I guess. Okay, so this is a way that maybe your guides and your angels are trying to communicate with you. If you've been seeing signs and you've been noticing some shady stuff going around in your relationship, the moon card, um, then it's probably for a reason. Maybe somebody around here is having an affair or is having some sort of... And, and this person, if they have been acting really shady or they've been like sneaking or being overprotective with their phone or social media page. You already know what time it is, Scorpio. So with the moon card, so there's a sense, a lot of fear this person has. So they'd rather avoid dealing with any type of emotional conflict with you rather than facing it, right? But let's see what's clarifying this devil card. 
But all this, this is like a secret. Someone's keeping something a secret. Okay, it doesn't necessarily have to be cheating. It can just be like social media, speaking to other people. Um, or like deciding to go out with other people. That can definitely be the case. And the tower. So this is, there's something that needs to be loosened up. Okay, someone here needs to loosen up their coping mechanisms, the way they handle situations, the way they, um, maybe someone here is going to break up or someone here has broken up due to, due to some, some type of something that came to, came out to light. Okay. And maybe something hasn't came out to light just yet, but it might just come out to light these next seven days. Let me get a drink of water. It does feel like a challenge. And it and this card says, I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. So if you feel like you've always had bad luck in love or something like that, most definitely um, just accept that you are different than everybody. So you're here to learn different things and you're very special. And, and there's obviously things happen for a reason, guys. So let's go ahead and pull out some romance angels. So right off the bat, I split. And you get forgiving and learning and deception. Okay, so there's something like there's an imbalance most definitely. But there's something about you having to forgive someone or maybe someone's going to be pleading for forgiveness because they got caught. <laughs> or they're getting caught for something these next seven days. So maybe someone goes out drinking and then they hook up with someone else. Maybe this is something that you didn't know about. Um, maybe it was held a secret for for some time as well. I mean, that could have definitely been the case because this this is what makes me think like it's been really protected. It's like a secret that's been protected for some quite some time. I feel like close people to this person, like close friends they go out with, knew this secret, but not everybody. So that could just be this the case for someone here. But it says worth waiting for. Divine timing is that working your love life. So something, something's worth waiting for. Maybe the secret coming out or maybe something. Maybe true love, right? So here we got unrequited love. Calling in your soulmate. So there's an imbalance most definitely in the relationship that you're in. And you may be calling your soulmate just by aligning yourself and allowing this tower moment to happen. Okay? Allowing things to unfold as they are. You're calling on the person that you're meant to be with. Very specific message. If it doesn't resonate with everybody, then it doesn't, okay? And I feel like this is a very specific message for one or two of you out there. And back of the deck energy, release your ex, okay? So there's a sense that you need to release someone from your energy, okay? So, and then remember this one. You got trust. So that's very interesting that trust came out of the back of the deck energy. And then we get like this basic, basically like a truth bomb. Maybe you already know about this for sure. But let's see. Scorpio. Scorpio, this may be you. This may be you cheating on somebody. That can just be the case too. Because tower, the, you're the tower. And then you got the devil right under you. So I feel like maybe you're the one. Maybe there's some shady energy around you. This, is, this doesn't necessarily have to be cheating, like I said. This can just be shady energy around you, you know. And, and unhealthy coping mechanisms that you have that you need to let go of. I feel like you are already aware of this or they're coming up into your um, conscious mind so you get rid of them. The devil is here to help. And the devil works for love as well. So let's see. Here we get some of these here. So here we get confidence is your key to success. Okay, so you may be dealing with a Leo. And you get, look at the, oh sorry, luck is on your side. Okay. Sagittarius, you may be dealing with a Sagittarius. Last one, you get surrender to the divine. Allow things to unfold as they are. Just kind of surrender to what's going on. Don't try to force or um, hold anything back as well. Okay? 
allow things to unfold naturally, just like I said. All right, well, that is all I have for you, Scorpio. Thank you so much for tuning into your reading. I really hope you found some clarity or some like balance. Remember to check the other signs to see what's going on because I feel like you can always pick up on other things when you watch like your rising or your Venus or anything like that. Okay, back of the deck energy for tarot is the Ten of Swords. Maybe a painful ending that's about to happen. Okay, that, just, that, that like I said, this is a very specific message, but this is in order for you to balance things out for yourself, okay? So you may be faced with, with some type of drama, okay? But that is all I have for you. Thank you so much for tuning in, Scorpio. That is all I have, and um, I will catch you guys at your next sign. Your other readings, remember to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Bye for now.